It's food o'clock on Real Ale Craft Beer and today I'm really excited to bring you a Tesco Finest Spaghetti Carbonara. It's 400 grams in weight. It cost me four pounds to buy because there was an offer, a Tesco club card offer on two items for seven pound. But the beef ragu that was also on offer was today's date. And I went digging around the back of the shelves for a better dated beef ragu and it just wasn't there. So I thought, right, okay, I'll just buy the one. I won't buy two for seven pounds, three pounds 50 each. I'll buy this for four pounds. So there we have it. it go, this is a microwave only meal. A couple of interesting things about this. Um, first of all, it goes in the microwave on a 900 watt microwave for 3 minutes and 30 seconds, 800 watts, 2 minutes, 800 watts, 2 minutes, or 900 watts, 1 minute and 30 seconds from chilled. Now, the interesting thing about this is that last week I was in wonderful Naples in Italy. We went to visit Pompeii and whilst we were there, in the four days we were there, I ate spaghetti carbonara two of those nights because it's my favourite food, it really, especially in Italy. So I will be able to pop this in the microwave and hopefully with a fresh mind give you my insights on how well Tesco have made this carbonara. Now the other interesting thing that I'm gonna, there's a look at it by the way. The, the other interesting thing that I'd like to talk to you about is we seem to have hit, there seems to be a carbonara factory built in the UK now because I was in Morrison's just yesterday and they had their own new version of a carbonara by a company called ZZ which is a British Italian restaurant thing and I was also in another supermarket and they were advertising a carbonara so I think I think carbonara might be the the the, the thing to look out for in 2024 I'm going to go and put this in the microwave now. I'm going to come back when it's on a plate and when it's cooked. Right, okay, I've microwaved this for the desired time. Let's get it out into a bowl and see what we get. Here's the, the lid. Let's, I had to poke a couple of holes in the lid, as always with a, with a microwave meal. Getting rid of some of that kind of horrible plastic. There it is. That's what it looks like before it goes on the plate. I'm going to roll all of the cheese over that spaghetti just to kind of try and mix it up a bit. It could be very good this. I'm hoping it's very good this. Let's get some of that. You don't want to leave, the thing is, you, you don't want to leave this, like this cheese and the bacon. You don't want to leave it in the plastic pot. So, let's, let's be fair to the product. Let's mix it up. And then what we'll do, we'll compare the picture to the food. Right, all mixed up nicely. Who doesn't lick their fork? Well, try to eat their fork in my in my uh, in my explanation. Right, there's the. That's what it's supposed to look like. And this is what it looks like. I'd say, I would say it's fairly similar. 
it's fairly similar to look at. Maybe there's a little bit more greenery going on. Maybe there's larger bits of bacon going on in the picture. But who goes to McDonald's and complains that the burger in the picture never looks like the burger that they're purchasing? Nobody does that. We all know they're having us on. So without further ado, let's mix. I want to mix some of that bacon up. So I ate some, I, I went to a restaurant in Naples near the train station and the guy in the restaurant spoke perfect English because he used to work for Bella Italia in the UK and because he now works in Italy he was kind of laughing at like the British take on Italian food. The carbonara I had in that restaurant was literally out of this world it was fantastic so that was only five days ago so I, I i should with a fresh mind be able to see if this tesco finest carbonara adds up to a proper italian carbonara ah It's a million miles away. Okay. If you're, and I, I did it on a budget. We flew with Ryanair. We stayed in a cheap Airbnb with lots of us in the place. Um, like eight people in a, in, a, in, in a small villa. And when I say villa, I don't mean like villa with a swimming pool. I mean like south italy naples villa where it's a concrete tarmac courtyard out the back with you're sharing with a million people it's not it wasn't gracious at all but what was gracious was the incredible food that we tried and this mm, Tesco can call this finest all they want. It tastes like it tastes like a bowl of like cheap cheese that you get in the, with with macaroni cheese, powdered powdered cheese, and it, it, it's it's almost flavourless to the carbonara that I was eating in Italy just a week ago. It was outstanding. The bits of bacon in the carbonara were literally sizzling and, and melting in your mouth. The cheese from the carbonara was just fantastic. Not this like powdered cheese stuff that they're using here. Tesco can call this finest all they like. It, 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 there will be, there will be, and I'm not judging people, by the way. It's just that I got family in Italy and we, we travel out to Italy a bit. But there will be an amount of people who buy this carbonara who are probably, and again, I'm not judging, they've probably never left the British Isles ever in their lives. And, and, and this is what Tesco are banking on. Tesco are banking on that they think that they will tell you how great their carbonara is, when in fact, this should have Tesco value written on it. This should be Tesco value spaghetti carbonara. Remember the old Tesco value from years ago? This is a poor, poor, poor imitation of, 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 of carbonara this is this is like <laughs> just completely crazy to even think to call it carbonara the Italians would be completely insulted by 
this Tesco Finest Carbonara at four pounds a pack. Now, I will be trying the ZZ version of this Carbonara, I really will. The bacon is tasteless. The thing is with Italian Carbonara is when you get a bit of bacon in your mouth, it's like it's on, it's on fire. The, the bacon is incredible. The bacon here is like bits of processed ham. We get a little bit of time on this planet, don't we? We really do. And this is very much on my mind at the moment. Do I want to carry on eating mundane food? And drinking like supermarket craft beer that all tastes the same. Or do I just want to go to Italy and live in Italy and do and just live my life to the, the best possible? The trouble is, and I know this is meant to be a food review, but it's also like a life review. I was in Italy last week and the carbonara out there was outstanding. This is like garbage in comparison. The problem we have as human beings is that some of us have children, which I've I, I've had, and and you put them from school, you put them through school, and you end up you end up like getting stuck in a rut. They've been in school for sixteen to eighteen years, depending on education. You end up getting comfortable. You end up like your mortgage becomes a little bit easier, and you go, you know, I'm going to stay here a little bit longer. And you end up staying in one place all your life because of schooling and because of your great job and and yeah it's nice to go on holiday to these places but wouldn't you want to go and live there and that's where i am at the moment that's where i really am i'm asking some serious questions in my life at the moment do i want to stay home in the in the uk and be like almost force fed Tesco's spaghetti carbonara, finest, Tesco finest, drink Tesco's flipping, really boring example of New England IPAs, or do I want to change my life, change my life, do something different, just, just get out there and like, before my days are numbered, you know, get out and do something with my life. This is trash, this is absolute trash, this is... This is Tesco value, or the Italians would, would be disgusted to pay four pound for this carbonara that goes in a microwave. It's, 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 it's squirty cheese, powder cheese, rubbish. You can see it here, you can see it. It's just, it's not what it should be. And make no mistake, if I go to ZZ, or if I go to some of these Bella Italias and places that think they're Italian restaurants, it'll be the same thing. It'll be the same thing, it'll be, it'll be mass produced. We have a thing in the UK where we just accept things. We just go, oh, you know, it's all right. It's all right. Everything's fine. We'll just accept it. It's not good enough. It's really not good enough. That's trash. That is absolute trash. Um, on offer, £3.50 for two. I mean, I, I mean... We just live in a world now where... If Tesco badged this up as Tesco value for a pound, yeah, it might be all right. But 
we live in a world now where they'll put Tesco fire and people will believe it. People will genuinely believe that they're eating like Tesco's finest food. It's just complete garbage, it really is. It's a three out of 10. Three out of 10 for me, Little Craft Beer. Please put your comments in the comments box. Subscribe to our daily beer and food reviews. Give us a big fat thumbs up. Boom, cheers.